E-learning is a formalized teaching system where notes, tutorials from lecturers and teachers can be accessed by students on different websites on the internet. After the closure of schools and universities as a result of fighting COVID-19, the introduction of e-learning system has been the alternative to teach students online to avoid public gathering. Some of these students who have for their first time experienced the internet learning said it is not well effective, adding they have challenges with connectivity and not all modules are available on the different websites. The network, like the strongness of the internet connectivity network is very weak, not strong at all. There is a lot of challenge and it not be a good one, it may be a horrible experience. So the government gets a responsibility in this regard for coming in like for code and support, especially for increased the uh, internet facility. What you really students then they face difficult are that the network system is very, very poor. Because like most of the time where we can get online class, some of us can get access for come online and listen to lectures. Implementing this, I believe I believe there are experts, there are people who know this. Who knows how to implement this, how to even put it in another place? I believe the university was like very hard to get such. Mahmoud Keita is a student at the Fura Bay College. He said, as a result of the ineffectiveness of the e learning system, government should find a way to reopen universities and introduce a preventive method to reduce the population by making a shift which he believes will work. The government try for another solution. The only solution are we let them try open college. Because we open college at the same time they need for put mechanism in place for saying that this when I need for you. Like all our departments uh, will be say they decided two hundred they need for shape the class. Like we decide seventy two. So I'm only seventy two that day then they need for put things in place the shape we into fifty. Hmm? So okay, Una, Una get class doing this afternoon hours on the morning hours. According to the 2019 ECOWAS Regional and National Internet Penetration Statistics, Sierra Leone is the second to last country with the lowest percentage of citizens having access to internet. The different university students pleaded with government to work with mobile companies in the country to help boost internet system so accessing notes and lectures online will be easy for them. James Tambamata, AYV Primetime News in Freetown.